I'm Gabe. And I'm Kat. And we're and we're the cool next door. Talking about spooky stuff. Spooky you know? stuff. Hi. Hi Kat. Oh yeah. For first time in a minute. Yeah. First yeah. time ever from far away. Yeah, remote. <laughs> I just had a book. I miss ball. you, Gabe. Spooky. Yeah. It's so <laughs> weird being in like this virtual world separated scary time i'm one with robot (laughs) because of technology Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Yeah. well we're we're you know coming coming at you cool scouts uh from our remote destinations uh we are socially distancing and and practicing our safety of not being near each other in a space because immunocompromise (laughs) yeah yeah how are how are you dealing with quarantine i mean my introverted self is like well now i have reasons not to go outside you know it's just like wow (laughs) oh can't see you darn no i mean mean, you know you do miss people like yeah i miss you specifically and like a few other people so it's been like hard (laughs) in that end but like because i'm introverted i get all my solace and energy from the inside world and not talking to humans so it's like dope but i imagine for you as an extroverted person you're like humans it's a nightmare it's it's a disaster and you know it's just me and mike usually but he's visiting a cousin in new hampshire so it's just me alone brave yes yeah don't i hope (laughs) <laughs> there's no murderers out there that are like oh she's home alone i'm gonna find where she lives <laughs> um i mean yeah. i don't know they'll get mike in new hampshire who knows <laughs> yeah yeah oh here's my cat Everyone charlie <laughs> oh she says hi and <laughs> she says she's taking over the the podcast charlie that sounds do great. you absolutely mind she does do not well uh <laughs> today's episode is uh really unique in that it is being brought to you virtually in a time when we are remote and away from each other. And that's because we are going to be talking about the Shutter film host, which yep. takes place on Zoom, which is not what we are on. Because that's nope. They had to, sh- you, you have to record your screen on Zoom. Neither one of us has a pro Zoom account, which neither did the people in the film. But uh, <laughs> for, what, for what we do, we're not. So we're using something else. Um, but it's still a virtual studio. Like we are still in two different locations recording. So we are like, this is meta. This is meta as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it kind of looks like Zoom. Like I think in Zoom, you can change your name. And it's like displayed at the bottom of your screen. The only yeah. thing we are missing is cool backgrounds. Yes. Yeah. You would have to get a green screen for this, which is like fine. <laughs> it's uh, we're just normal. Yeah. This is a very interesting film. Um, it is, like I said, taking place all throughout uh, the Zoom capabilities. So it's all like it's just a bunch of girls. <laughs> Zoom. So I'll tell you what it's about. So it's from this year. Uh, it's it was made during quarantine, so it's very unique. And there's some really awesome like videos about like what how they did it and what they did. But it is about six friends accidentally invite the attention of a demonic presence during an online seance and begin noticing strange occurrences in their home. That's yeah, the gist. I know why it happened now. Because of the, uh, how do I say her name? Anna Akana song. I got six friends. How many <laughs> friends is too many mm-hmm. friends? There's no such number. Yeah. But it yeah. is. Yeah. Six is too many, so they go away now. <laughs> it's a, a very interesting film uh, because it, it starts out very just going through all the cliches of what our new world is in Mm -hmm. regards to like it is socially distanced right so it's just like uh you start out and there she just like puts the computer on her bed and she walks out because you don't really care about the computer and they go through all those like cliche like um (laughs) what is it like uh like what's your mask what kind of mask do you have or Mm -hmm. who are you with and then like everyone kind of sharing their 
backgrounds or like special zooms there's the the the, um tour through zoom which is like that 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 super cliche thing of like you just pick up your your phone or your computer and you're just walking through and it's funny because when we were watching we were like we literally just did that to each other yeah literally yeah because uh we recently moved. Well, I already saw your place a bunch, but you didn't see mine. So I was like given a virtual Zoom tour all around my house. And I was like, oh, I feel called out. <laughs> they got me. They knew what I did. So it's like, uh, I knew what you Zoomed last summer or whatever. You know, they just they're coming back and be like, we know what you do on Zoom. Yeah. No one wants to see your house. Nothing. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I think it's, yeah. <laughs> it, it's also funny because like, when we were so when we were watching, I was very much like, "This is too soon," because <laughs> it right? was like what was happening, or like what happens daily, right? It's the fact that like we are on Zoom calls for work things. I was like, after this film, like the, tomorrow, I'm gonna be on a Zoom meeting, like with my like coworkers or with like you know people that I help or consult, and then just like. <laughs> it's like I have to I have to go on to Zoom and you yep. have shown me the fear of the Zoom. And so now it's like it's too close. It's too close to home. Like th- I would understand if this was a year from now and we could look at it fondly and be like, remember when our whole lives were on that? <laughs> yeah, it's like I totally agree. And that like, you know, it's totally what there's no separation as of now. We are still so much in it. We're still like oh, I remember the sun. I remember seeing other humans outside and not judging them because they're not in masks. Yeah. Uh, I remember like <laughs> looking at Instagram feeds and being like, oh, that looks so nice. Instead of being like, oh, they're dumb. Oh, my God. How do they not have it already? Like <laughs> and panicking yeah. internally. Um, yeah. yeah. What a time. Yeah. I and- get that. Like that's the quarantine PTSD where if I see content that was made pre-COVID and it's like I'm mm-hmm. watching a film sometimes and they're like or a TV show and they're outside and there's no masks or they're in a restaurant and I'm just like you have to, like what are you doing <laughs> what are we doing right now why are we outside mm-hmm. and I feel like triggered by it where I'm just like ah and it's a reaction <laughs> yeah I have tried to go to a store totally protected in masks once and the entire time I was just like Oh my god, people, they're too close. There's not enough aisle space. How do I get away? Like freaking out the entire time. So we don't do that anymore. We just Instacart, so we don't have yeah. to do it. But it's real. Like it's scary thinking about being outside, slash also seeing what life was, I guess. I mean, yeah. like, this seems so strange. People just go like what? I don't understand. <laughs> just go outside without your mask. Everyone's just so carefree. Like, it's rude. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. maybe if we all wore masks before this, it was normalized. We wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah. Um, That's a big thing, too. Yeah, I think, you know, so before this and what we, we kind of brought up when we were watching it was there was that film Unfriended that you and I actually really enjoyed. Like, we didn't yeah. expect to enjoy it. And we watched it on our computers too i remember that like Mm -hmm. we were watching on a computer which like added to it like i didn't watch this one on a computer but it's still like in the beginning when like she's like clicking in the window and stuff like i had like this natural reaction to like find a mouse like to click my mouse and (laughs) i was just like oh wait this isn't mine this isn't mine what am i doing um and (laughs) so in unfriended it was skype it was a skype Mm -hmm. call and there's a part of of unfriended that's interesting because it plays on the fear of um bullying so it talks about bullying and and that's like the core of it was like they bullied this girl and it was about not just bullying but that she was shamed on social media and Mm -hmm. that her footage had gotten out and so that that's why she was shamed like they were like you're a slut or whatever and it was that she had been harmed and so she ended up committing suicide and then was haunting the devices of which had harmed her during her life which like made yeah. sense with the host we don't really have that we don't have that explanation the explanation is super silly um and i was like this is rude and there's a lot of questions i have that like while i was watching i feel like if if it was a film that hadn't been made in in quarantine right and if it had been made when like we could edit more or like take the time and be conscious of what's going on that 
we would have added those answers. Um, mm -hmm. But there's also the added part of it only being like 50 minutes long because it's also in the free version of Zoom. And so it has to end when like our Zoom ends because otherwise it would just go on forever because that's what Zoom does. And mm -hmm. so it's like it is a really interesting use of, of the medium and as someone who loves found footage, it was perfect in that way. Like yeah. it really played on all those things that we like feel is familiar and that's why it's easy to believe. Um, and so Shudder actually has a newsletter that they put out that has like articles about different films and it's usually like these um, pretty amazing like just little write-ups that dive deeper into the content, which you know we love. <laughs> and so it's mm -hmm. called The Bite. Uh, and uh, I also funny, read it. Because it's, I have my love. Hold on. Sucks. <laughs> Dracula shirt. So the bite. Uh, but it, yeah, it's it's called the bite. And they had a, a piece about uh, this film and specifically about um, found footage and how it like adapts with our fear of technology and mm -hmm. it like, uses whatever new technology we're experiencing to amplify those fears and to kind of put us in the moment. And found footage gets a lot of hate because <laughs> it's like shaky cam or it's cheesy and silly. And if like you don't suspend disbelief and don't just enjoy the film the way that like we do um, mm -hmm. or understand that it, what it's trying to do, it is easily like yeah, <laughs> very easily just like, oh, blah, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, it just like, it's pretty interesting in that it uses something that we're using now. So like Unfriended was just a few years ago. I think it was like 2018. And it I think was so, using yeah. uh, Skype because that was new. Like, But here we are in quarantine. No one's using Skype. We're using Zoom. And then, you know, you have ones where it's just like on a phone or like handheld cameras like um, Cloverfield was mm -hmm. handheld. And that's like the motion sickness. Or um, one of my favorite things is uh, paranormal activity always uses found like uses the equipment really creatively and so uh in paranormal activity four they use the the xbox and yep. the, the xbox connect uh would cast these dots that would track your movement and that's how it interacted with whatever was on the screen and why you could like do the running games or the pop bubbles or the dance ones mm -hmm. and so um but you usually didn't see the dots <laughs> like it was just like happening but if you turn up it, you could like turn them on and you could see what they were doing and so it could be really fun and so i remember the trailer for paranormal activity 4 when they showed they turn off the lights and they showed the the thing and you see a figure because of the dots showed a figure but you were like you're like you're freaking out but the people on mm -hmm. there don't see it or it's yeah like, they don't see what's they going turn on. on the lights so there's nothing there so it's like it mm -hmm. was tracking movement that isn't there and so I, I think there's a lot to say about like technology seeing what we don't see and progress like with the globules right <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the ghost images of the little bulbs of light that you that you see and we say those are ghosts or energy um yeah and it's just like as it because like we can make technology see what we can't with our human eyes. That's why we have like enhance, right? mm -hmm. like we enhance the sound when this device just listened to the room when we asked the question, is there anybody here? Um, <laughs> you know, those cliches. And so it's like, it's just pretty interesting to have, have something that's, that's so present right now. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like it wouldn't have hit as, effectively if it was put out at any other time like if we weren't in a pandemic if we weren't always home because it's honestly like every conversation that you have with another human being in this day and age is it feels like found footage because you're you're not with them if anything happened to them on screen like you can't go through the computer to get to them and you have like this pandemic that is outside that also prevents you from going to them so there's like this fear of I guess the distance that you already have and then you also have like I feel like it's been a trend What? What's going on? Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> what? You said Mike was out of town, right? Yeah. He's at his cousin's. Are you Hampshire. sure? Yeah. I think I would know if my boyfriend was still in the house. You didn't hear anything just now. No, I was listening to you like a good co-host. <laughs> oh, I mean, you also have headphones in. There was something behind you, but I don't know if I was seeing things. I. <laughs> okay. Well. Is your door like open or something? Open. I'm sure it's open. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I have okay. a cat, so. Oh, that's Maybe real. Charlie. Her. Charlie opens things. <laughs> um, found footage. And in today's world, <laughs> you're saying it couldn't happen any other time. <laughs> See, I was listening. Yes. Um. Yeah, I just don't think it would have hit as effectively. In the <laughs> like, okay. we don't, we wouldn't have Do so much fear around it. And then I think it's been recently. I remember now, uh, in films recently that they're really playing upon like the whole. You should maybe turn. I guess around. like the, the new technology being able as a way to see right. things that presumably aren't there, and then uh, also we saw like Invisible Man. We saw it with uh, the film we watched, The Host. You know, mm-hmm. and. Where it's like they use ways to identify the presence of something by like throwing a sheet or the flower or whatever. And like the fear is that you can't see what's in front of you and you can still mm-hmm. see footsteps or you throw the blanket and there is a whole person like there. Like person in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it plays to a lot of the fears that like we're experiencing. I, especially like. I know a big piece of, like, I work in OST, so a big, like, stressful thing right now is uh, a lot of younger kids cannot have childcare, like, through a computer. You know what I mean? Um, And it's, like, when you're older and you're legally allowed to be home by yourself, that's not as much of an issue. But, like, you cannot supervise, like, a kindergartner through a computer screen and know that they're, like, safe. Because you're not with, like, you can't get to them through the computer. And I feel like you yeah. feel that kind of same anxiety in this film where, like, the friends are seeing bad things happen to each other but are so unable to do anything about it and yeah. are kind of left with this uncertainty. Is it real? Are there jokes being done? Because some of them joke when it's not funny. Yeah. Um, and I think there's just like this fear and uncertainty just with the world in general, but very effectively like through Zoom or through Google Meet or whatever platform you're using and that like you can't actually get to these like to the people that you care about or you people that you see on screen in front of you and you don't know if what's happening to them is real because there's this disconnect in terms of the internet. So if we think about uh, Unfriended, the whole thing was like technology really kind of takes you a step back as a disconnect from... I guess your connectivity with people. So like that's where you have like the brave internet bullies where they'll be like saying things you would not say to people in person, but they feel emboldened because, you know, it's the internet. It's not real, even though it totally is. Um, you get kind of like both. There's the uncertainty of if it's real and that just brings anxiety. And you kind of like don't know what's actually happening outside because you don't have any normalcy in terms of like going outside to see what the world actually is so i think it just plays on all of that and yeah it was cool it it makes me think of um i actually have never seen it but there's a, a film that my mom had told me about where there's a woman who she's on the phone and tell me if you know someone probably knows what this movie is uh someone uh calls like she calls her daughter who's at Mm -hmm. home like her teen daughter or something and then she uh is on the phone and the girl's like oh the plumber or something is here the uh, electrician is here and the mom's like what are you talking about and so she like lets this man in and she's on the phone Mm. with her mom and then that guy ends up murdering her kid on the phone and she hears the whole thing and she's like trapped in like traffic and so she can't like get to her she can't like help she can just hear this and know what's happening and know that it's like inevitable and it's like there is that fear of like not being able like to see it right and there, and there's mm-hmm. been like um found footage horror films in which someone is like uh there was one that was done it was a snapchat horror film 
Mm. I cannot remember the name of it, but it I was like I someone, saw that one. Yeah, it's it's pretty short, and it's like it's just like a girl like talking about her day or something, and mm-hmm. then she's like doing those like the monologues on her phone, and then she would have mm-hmm. like a screen of black like the black with the white text and as she's going like at some point pe- like people are chiming in because they're like some like someone's outside like did you see this picture like you the picture you took has someone in the window and then like it's like them going through and then eventually like someone's in the house and it's like everyone's like oh my god what are we gonna do um and so <laughs> it, and then like she ends up like dead or and he could have been a dude like it's so long ago like it was at the height of like Snapchat. Um, there's other ones that take place like through the film, but th- there is that thing of like you like as as viewers, right, uh, of media and in, in horror specifically. Like we have that time where we're screaming at the screen, right? Like as they're <laughs> they're doing something stupid, they're like behind you, there's something <laughs> behind you, get out of the house, and you're like in it and you're involved. But there's a whole other let let level to it if you were another person in that scene who's also contributing to the film and also contributing to what's going on. And it makes it that much more real. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think like there's, there's two things I wanted to touch on. One is like that zoom is kind of like our oasis right now in Mm -hmm. regards to like being connected as a community. Like we are physically distanced, but we're like socially together and that we are online. And Mm -hmm. like, there's all the, like we're finding ways to like have happy hour or family meetings where you're all on zoom, right? You get inventive. Like we're going to have a watch party and watch a film together. um, Or we're going to play games. Like we'll play charades or a virtual game where we can all see it like Jackbox Mm -hmm. or something. Right. And so like, this is our, our haven. And they took the haven and like turned it around and made it like a fear, <laughs> made it scary, yeah. made it something that we will think twice about indulging in. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, ah, um, but uh, oh, man, I totally like forgot my other my other point. Let's think about it. It will essentially like that. Um, darn. What did I want to say? This is why we usually have a script. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, essentially, just something along the lines of about um, the disconnect of technology. Yeah. I can't remember it. Well, I think the moral of the film is don't have a seance in real life or through computers. Um, <laughs> I feel like especially yeah. not through computers, because it's like, what? Like, there... <laughs> If there are rules for seances, I don't think they transfer. Like, if you have to make a circle, the circle of the internet does not count. Like, what? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. There's not digital demons. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's that's not. yeah, that's where it gets kind of like, like I get like a ghost of the girl who committed suicide because he bullied her attacking you. Like, I can buy that. Like, that's mm-hmm. believable. Uh, <laughs> like in the way that horror is believable, but to just have like, I just didn't understand why the girls w- agreed with the seance to begin with. I didn't understand mm-hmm. why that girl felt so strongly about the seance. Um, like the guy who it really should have been for didn't even participate until the yeah. end. And so it, like, and that's cause that's someone he was missing. So like, we never get that idea. We never, re- there's a lot of questions that are brought up. I think as a viewer that don't get answered, and again, it's just because like yeah. I don't think there's enough time or like that didn't it didn't really matter. Um, but I thought I was like, what a petty. And I guess like <laughs> any seance film, the demons are really petty. Like they're just looking oh, for yeah. any excuse to just like hop on in here, you know. Um, and and I think that's pretty fun of like uh, the the pop in there. It's very much. It's definitely like kind of strangers esque where it's like you were home, you yeah. invited me. So yeah, you open the door and don't so get mad at me. Now. now I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I remembered what I was gonna say. Nice. Uh, there is this uh pretty awesome film. I can't remember the name of it again, but it's starring um <laughs> Emmy Rosum from Shameless okay. and yes. uh, Phantom of the Opera. And what it was was that there was this film and she was uh, a character who was locked in this house. She had been kidnapped and she was held hostage. Mm-hmm. And 
the thing about it was like it was like piecemeal. The, the film was piecemeal because viewers would text or message her and she would react and do things based on what they were telling her to do in order to get out. So like she had a computer somehow and she was able to like chat into it. And so people would be like, try this, try that. And so then viewers became a part of like the the action, which is phenomenal. There's also a film that's cool. where someone was like, everyone gave their phone number to the theater. And so the theater would play the film. And at one mm-hmm. point in the, like throughout the film, the person would call, the actor would call in the in in the film they would have a phone number and they just like pick up their phone and just be like help do i go upstairs or downstairs right and someone randomly in the audience their phone would go off and would be like down <laughs> downstairs and so then she and then it would react and then she would go downstairs and it was like the per and then like but it was a secret like you couldn't tell people that you had the phone because then like everyone would like talk right so you were just like that's just, like, crazy go in this room uh and so it was like kind of like choose your own adventure but it was like this way to like engage the audience um mm-hmm. and i'll try well, to I find guess- the the clips too <laughs> is it like uh so like they probably filmed all choices mm-hmm. and then whatever you picked is what they showed yeah cool yeah so i actually That's pretty cool. as my um my like thesis film in in college mm-hmm. made a choose your own adventure film oh and nice so it was in this software where you were prompted with these things and you said like this or this and you would click it and then the next thing would happen and you could lead to the death of the protagonist like mm. if you chose the wrong thing um or you could lead to like you know them discovering more but it would like stop and then you'd have to start over um and you can play through as many times as you want but we did have mm. to film every single one of those things <laughs> so it's not like it's not something that you really want to do and i don't know like the mechanics of how the theater like interacts with them but it was like this whole installation that i think is like super cool and could be redone um but there's also in so in shutter's email for the bite uh it had linked to a another short film that was on vimeo um called like uh something man i forget what it was called attachment like something attachment um unexpected attachment i think and oh, okay. it was it wasn't the best acting but it, it felt to me like a like a student film or a beginner film who were using like pretty actors who were learning um <laughs> and so that's fine <laughs> it's fine uh but the the core of it was that it's this this man who is using something like omegle so like remember the like chat roulette kind of like yes. you just kind of click and then you get some new person in it. And yes. so it's him and it's on, he's on his computer and he gets video chatted by his friend who has all these funny one liners and zingers uh, who's like teasing him because he says he found like this person that means a lot like that he had a connection to. Um, mm-hmm. And his friend is like, were you clothed the whole time? And he was like, no, <laughs> you know, and he has this whole thing. And so he's like, I'm going to try this weekend to find him again. And he was like, mm-hmm. this is a uh, needle in the penis stack. <laughs> and uh, so he goes through this thing and he's finding all these creeps or all these like weirdos or all these people who just like you don't want to talk to. He ends up like connecting to this like cute guy, but it turns out he's a cam boy. And so he's like, mm. you got to pay me. <laughs> I'm the only one is normal, but you got to pay. And then he gets a chat open and it says that it's from the guy and the guy says like oh my my computer camera broke um Mm. but it's me and he and he's just like oh sure and he says if you don't believe me uh i'm just gonna send you something to confirm it and it's like an audio file and i was like do not open up random attachments from strangers on the internet that's like it's like virus times yeah (laughs) Yeah, hack your webcam times (laughs) yeah so he clicks it and of course like the screen starts getting glitchy everything's glitchy but then he's glitchy as well and it had all these like scenes like all throughout where it's just like flashes of like light it's all glitchy 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 and there's like a it, there's some Cthulhu imagery. There's like a creepy girl behind her. There's like, click, click, click. he's like moving all weird. And then towards the end, it just like goes black. But then his friend calls him and is calling, calling, and finally gets through. And his friend's like, oh my God, what are you doing? And it's all like distorted. And then he's like, looks all creepy. And then he sends him the, the attachment. And so mm-hmm. then the guy's like, what is this? He clicks the attachment, like, stop. And I get that because that's your friend. So that one's a little more believable. But he clicks the attachment (laughs) and then his screen starts going all like glitchy. And I was just like, that's really funny. 
and had reminded me of Marble Hornets. Okay. I don't know if I've seen that. I think I showed you a few episodes of it because I I, I wanted to do an episode about Slender Man or about Mm. creepy pastas and like those tales that were like, you know, and and there is like, you know, the two, what, the two sentence horror films or whatever Mm -hmm. that you're watching. There were not creepy pastas, but like, there was a, a like a film anthology or show where it, they were covering cream hmm. pastas or something. Um, but essentially, it's it's this one of the the oldest like uh, found footage I remember on YouTube, and it was just a guy who was like, my friend was making a film, he went missing, so I'm looking at these his his videos. Oh yes, yes, what yes. happened to him? I watched those. Yeah. And so it's like, and the thing is like, what was so great about it is that I remember I was watching it when it like was first coming out. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so like, I remember watching like one through five and then there was a break for like months before the next one came out. And then there Mm -hmm. would be like a few of them and then it'd be another break. And so like you would watch and be like, this is like a year between the last time we saw this person. And so we're trying Uh to like keep up and and go with it. Um, And so it was just like on and on and on. Uh, But I was rewatching them and and essentially it's, it's, so it's a guy who's revisiting these films and he's just like, oh, there's distortion and there's audio and you know that always makes me cry mm-hmm. and like I was like watching and being like oh when I first watched it this time I was like it's so silly but it was like Slender Man and he was like there and so there was like, mm-hmm. a scene where they're panning and then it's like here he is and they're like oh and they like run or he or you'd be like was it in the woods was it there and that's like what the the this genre does as like a horror it, it really relies on the shadows it relies on mm-hmm. like holding uh long takes on spaces that you're not sure what's going on like you can't see anything right away so you're like what is happening uh and so you're kind of just like staring at the space like am i missing it is there a beast there um and and it it, it really relies on putting us in the moment and, and targeting things that we believe in um or will interact with or like mm-hmm. you know have what happens uh so it's just like uh yeah it's just it is very interesting and I I like the way that the different things that they played in in this film um with regards to like uh people like leaving like she had the Mm -hmm. video that was like my favorite part was she had a video playing behind her of herself just like coming yeah this is my friend right and so then I as soon as they showed that video I remember being like oh that's gonna come up She's gonna yep. go missing. It's gonna, gonna go foreshadow. It's her, but it's her thing, and <laughs> just like you know, uh, it's. But instead, it's gonna be that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and 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 then it happened where she was like, we thought it was hers coming in, but I was like, she's wearing pajamas now. That ain't right. And then yeah, like, kind of playing on it. It was so effective, honestly, and like it was so str- it was such a stressful moment because like you had the whole her head hitting the screen a bunch of times like but you couldn't tell because the background kept distorting it and then you like kept cutting back and then like you think she's fine but you don't know and that was done so well like Mm -hmm. I guess zoom backgrounds kind of play to that like you're you're not expecting them to kind of turn on you Mm because I guess you're putting like a fake version of whatever your world is behind you so you're like expecting that to honestly like guard you from having everyone see the inside of your house or like how messy your room is or whatever and they took that from us in this film (laughs) and made (laughs) it really scary and I will say I can't get the video backgrounds to work on my zoom though I don't know why I was really disappointed when I tried to make myself underwater so I wanted to scare myself that way the last time we were on Zoom. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's very like, um, it's very interesting. <laughs> what it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, My light went out, I think. That was... Are you okay? Can you see okay? Like your your eyes looked a little weird. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I don't really remember. You know, narcolepsy. I don't really remember. 
Okay. I just remember darkness, and then now here. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah, maybe it's just you know d- uh, distance and stuff, and and being alone in the house. But I just, I'm just seeing things. I think <laughs> technology. It's getting to us. Look at it, in real time. Um, yeah. That was weird. Um, You're welcome. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, another thing that was interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna plow through. So <laughs> to get to get over what that was uh, was the 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 face things. The, um, uh, the oh f- filters. Yes, the mask, Johns. The thing that like when you're using Snapchat <laughs> yeah. or Facebook means yeah. you can like have it on you. Put them on you. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that on Zoom until I saw this film. And I was like, I don't even know if no. you can. I think they put that in there. I don't know if you can. I guess because I use Zoom as a mostly like professional thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not like doing that. It's not as but much for I, fun. I did like like you were saying it. It takes these things that we find joy <laughs> in and it turned mm-hmm. it twisted it right. And so like I remember just before we watched it, I had had like I was doing a video call on my mm-hmm. phone with my sister. Like I was FaceTiming my sister and the whole time we were in filters. Like, cause it, it's funny, but we were like having these conversations about life while I look like a fish or something, you know? <laughs> and, and she yeah. was like in space, you know? And, and it was like, it's funny. It's just silly. You take those pictures and in the film, she has that. So there's one girl who's the goofy one who's just like mm-hmm. sweet. She was the one I was rooting for the whole time. I was like, don't know. You're surviving. Don't do it. Don't look. Don't ask for it. Um, and um, yeah, she was the one who like investigated too, because she's the one who put the powder on the floor. She's mm-hmm. the one who threw the blanket. Like she, yeah, was, she was always looking about for it. the answers. Um, she was great. So in it, like she has her camera, and she had had the filters on the whole time. And at one point, she's like looking at the at her living room, which is empty because she's alone. And then mm-hmm. it finds a face. And how many times have we seen one of those like? quick like memes or, or videos where someone's like talking and all of a sudden it sees a face and it's like what is that what do you mean where where's that face yeah. uh, and then it just cuts yeah. to black or something like those really funny like online <laughs> versions i will yeah i will say this film like scared me and i felt really silly for how bad it scared me like there were moments like i had my shirt just over my like eyes because I was just, I was like, no, no, no. I know something's about to happen. I've seen enough horror films. Something messed up is about to go down. I don't want to see it. This is really stressful. I don't know why. Like, there's no reason I should be this scared. But I guess it's just like, one, I don't think we've watched like a horror, horror movie in like a, mm-hmm. like a second. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it hasn't, we've watched like not scary horror films, I guess, lately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that true. one, like, just must have social. It was, or... it was 100% jump scares, like, totally playing on, like, very mundane and, like, human things, like, things that should be scary and are reasonably scary and use them effectively. Like, mm-hmm. oh, it messed me up so bad. I was just like, oh no, do not. She's going to throw the blanket. I know she's going to throw it. She's going to throw it. And I was like, it was awful. <laughs> So you gotta do that i do what i do and i did it too you know what yeah um that's so funny because yeah you got me i there was a time when it was oh it was when the guy comes back on the call mm-hmm. and he's running through the house and that's when we actually seen the demon and it was like the blue face like it looked like the insidious guy mm-hmm. and so he was running through the house and it was like dark and i was just like no and i do this my my still watch but protect myself move isn't like a blanket or anything it's i do this oh yep. <laughs> so i'll like i'll hold so what i do is I, I hold my hand on my face but i have my eye peering out of it because mm-hmm. if it gets too bad i can just close it yep. <laughs> and then it's like i'm safe and then i can open it and so like there was a point where i was just like oh, and i was <laughs> like looked at mike and i was just like i'm still watching this is just how it's i fine. watch when it gets spooky and yeah. i i'm not scared and, i've seen so many all- films shut up <laughs> where I will squint at some t- sometimes. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll just be like squinting because then I can just close my eyes really like faster, yep. <laughs> and then I don't have to see what it is. I um, do the same thing. Yeah, and it like You're protects not alone. you. It definitely like yeah. As soon as it started to pop off, it did. I think it was it was believable in a way that like I do believe that a just a bunch of white women for brunch would want to do a seance and like 
have fun. Yeah. Um, and that they have that woman who was like, uh, like you're open, but she was like, I just, she, I don't know. I feel like she should have took it a little more seriously. The the woman who was holding it, like. Mm-hmm. In, in her she was just like it's fine and like how casual and like the fact that people were still on board when she was like so when we're on the internet we are more at risk <laughs> there are more doors that could open we do not have the same protections as if we were in a space together and all the girls are like um visualize <laughs> okay a rope that connects you to your door <laughs> so, yeah, i okay, was yeah. like when I'm like, scared, the only thing I'm visualizing is whatever the demon's perceived face is every time I close my eyes. So, like, absolutely not. Am I going to effectively be able to, like, focus on the rope and the don't whatever? Like, absolutely not. <laughs> also, the seances cannot happen through the internet. That does not make sense. There's no circle. There's no protective salt. Or I don't know how seances <laughs> work. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing yeah. to protect you for real. Like. Yeah. There's no way to actually connect to the people You're around you. There's not yeah. cyber demons. Yeah. And and that that was a part too. Like when she said that, I was like, so you're telling me that my safety relies on this girl's imagination. <laughs> like I have to rely that she can imagine the right rope on the door. And the second mm-hmm. she stops imagining the rope in the door, I'm screwed. <laughs> like I'm at risk now. Like I I love my friends. <laughs> but do I love them enough to trust them with my life? over the internet for ghosts and demons. I don't know. I don't think so. And like, yeah. I think the one girl tried too hard and and the other one who was like the one who made the joke, mm-hmm. um, she did really well. And I get it. I get like why she made the joke. I think it's funny. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, she's just it. trying to like lighten the weird yeah. energy. And there's clearly like friend conflict mm-hmm. that, I mean, I just think that exists when you have like more than two friends. <laughs> yeah they, and they all have you their know, own like personality yeah. yeah that's why it's, it's like friends. when i have like a group i'm just like one of you is the best friend and the rest of you are here and i also care about you yeah but like i don't need weird dynamics where i'm questioning stuff or feel anxious about relate you know what i mean the third yeah. friend that plots against the other friend nah i don't want any don't of that included yeah, <laughs> you made me think of the the TikTok uh, voice thing where it's like Jesus, and he's like, "One of you are gonna betray me." <laughs> it's like, is, is it, it me, me, Jesus? Jesus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's like, if you're in a room of friends, one of you is gonna betray me. Like, there's too many yes, of you. To that take is what ch- it is. <laughs> to take they all meet up to get coffee without you, and are like, man, 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 man. see that thing, Cap <laughs> did, and I'm like. Oh, you went with her to the bathroom. Just I tell can't me go to the, the bathroom. Thing I did so I can fix it. That's like where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I, like I, it. I agree that it, it is hard to think of having several girls as friends as well. Just like because neither one of us are those people. Our friends are dudes, yeah. <laughs> like, except for us. And so it Mostly, is. That's yeah. like another part of it too. Um, but yeah, it's like. They all have their own, like, their specific personality and role in the group. Um, mm-hmm. I did like the uh, the kind of commentary on the one friend who was living with the boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And so it was, like, that whole thing of, like, oh, you're, like, you guys moved in too soon and now you're, like, stuck. Because, like, as people who live with their partners during quarantine and had moved in with them during quarantine, yeah. it's completely different from what we had imagined when we first decided we were going to be moving in because they're mm-hmm. like, we're here all the time. <laughs> like it's yeah. always constant forever. And it's like, I love you, but you're still here. <laughs> we're both yep. still here. Um, and it's like, you know, we were expecting this time where you'd like leave and come in. And so that was fun and like relatable to have like that, that tension. And then also like mm-hmm. the girl who went, who was living at home, like she was yeah. living in her room. It's like how many, you know, of of the young people are going back and living at home or like people who flock there to, to for safety and because like they can't go to school or um, well, because, because they parents, can't afford their house. Yeah. Usually parents live somewhere with like more space, too, because they're older. So they have like their lives more <laughs> established generally. Um, so they'll have like a house with like a yard maybe or like just like more rooms. Where, like, when you're living on your own and you're broke, it's like, my room is a closet. Hello. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or like if you were in a place that was really scary, like it was hit pretty badly, mm-hmm. um, then you probably uh, went home to like protect yourself or to get yeah. away from like the city or something. Like how many people left New York and are now back and are like, New York's so weird now. And it's like we watched our neighbors die and had to be stuck in their house because they could, no one can leave. And <laughs> so, yeah, I think there's like. There, there's quite a lot that's uh, pretty great about this film. I think it, <laughs> at, when I first, when it first started, I was like, this is so rude that it's preying on, you know, our, our solace, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, our, our, our hub of, of hope and connectivity. And like these the times, only way we get to FaceTime, you know? Yeah. And you have to like pray on that. But at the same time, it's like, Like you were saying, there really isn't like there's no better time to have done it than now when we are immersed in it. And I think like even so, like if people don't catch it now, uh, watching it like next year or like, you know, after the pandemic has like, you know, if we find a cure and, and, you know, things slow down and people are safe and we're like kind of mingling outside and 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 somewhat normalcy um, or whatever normal is going to look like in the future to look back on it and to it's like another like place marker of mm-hmm. what we've all experienced. And so it yeah. kind of serves as almost like a documentary as well. Like it, it's silly yeah. and it's a horror film, but it is like, this is a piece of our, our culture and our life that collectively we are living. <laughs> like yeah. We are all kind of in this space. And so it's, it's pretty phenomenal in that. And I think, and my hope is that, if people watch this film and get that fear um, and see how it, it can target the things that we're believing in or that we're feeling, that maybe it will spark some more love for the found footage genre and mm-hmm. an appreciation for it and an understanding of like, it's okay to kind of just like believe it for a minute and let it like prey on those fears and, and our, overarching fear of technology yeah at the end of the day and honestly the fear of like being alone with yourself mm-hmm. you know i feel like it also plays on like quarantine in general i think plays on that anxiety but also just like having to deal with your stuff because it's there's nowhere nowhere but these walls man <laughs> you gotta embrace the walls you gotta just like can't put it in a backpack under the bed or whatever you have to unpack it you gotta be like all right this is all my problems can't go anywhere else there's not much else to do yeah yeah Yeah. i yeah i agree i think there's yeah i think it's just (laughs) yeah there is that 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 fear of being alone that we all kind of have right now because we are alone and we're all starved for attention even introverts right like there's Mm -hmm. like there's still that thing that we relied on and so and and honestly virtual is never going to cut it in the same way like there's just nothing that can do like what people can do for each other and we're social animals Mm -hmm. and it it keeps us sane to be able to communicate and i can't imagine how it was going in 1918 (laughs) when they didn't have zoom uh but yeah i imagine not great but um you know, we rely on that. And it, yeah, I think like that, not just being alone in, in here, but also like being away from any help. Because if something's yeah. happening to you here and you're seeing it, you still can't help me. Right. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, <laughs> I might as well be dying in my sleep. Like at least at, at oh. the very least, someone's like coming to, you can call an ambulance, but, yeah. <laughs> you know, but that was like a big, that was the big ending was that, Every one of them was happening like one at a time and Mm -hmm. they were the friends are forced to watch and you can't leave. Yeah. You can't get out of this room because then you have left them. Right. And like even though you're not there, like you have to try to communicate. And at the same time, you're you're it's it's torture because you're watching them and it's out of your your control. Um, Mm -hmm. And that scene was like all those scenes of just like them slowly being picked off. And it's like one by one by one. And you're just like, um. Is, it was phenomenal. I think it was a really good, just like, way to end it. Um, yeah, yeah. No, it was legit. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you haven't, definitely watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's just like a fun time, but also like actually scary. If uh, 
jump scares and found footage stuff kind of freaks you out. It is effective in that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I would say um, it might be even more fun to watch on your phone, on your computer. And mm. it's only like 45 minutes of like actual content. So it's not a lot of time of your life. It's not yeah. like Unfriended, I think it was a solid film, but it like a long film. Um, but this one is like decent in time and you could just like run through it. It's I think it's it does what it's it, it set out to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, stay sane, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you're, I mean, and don't let it scare you away from connecting where you can. Like, I yeah. appreciate that I'm still able to hang out with you, even though it's far away. Yeah. I mean, totally. And just don't have a seance. Like, we're not going to do a seance. So we're cool, man. We don't got to, <laughs> don't do dumb stuff. Don't do the yeah. stuff that invites the bad. Just have a nice time hanging out with your friends. <laughs> through the internet, play Drawful or that t-shirt game or whatever other yeah. ones. TKO. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still Write do it. Yeah, have fun. I've done that Trades. recently. That's been pretty cool. Send like mail, like real mail. Send mail. Yeah, so that's it's cool. The also USPS. buy stamps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also register to vote. Like we're just yeah. going to put it all out there. Put it all out there. Reminders. Yeah. I think it's, um, yeah, no, I think it's fun. I think it's super fun. Everyone should do it. <laughs> yeah the friendly neighborhood ghouls next door to you gave over there yeah and 100% cat not a demon <laughs> say yes. you need to go register to vote buy some stamps I don't know stop shopping at Talk Amazon to friends. yeah stop, yeah all the all the things we've been telling you to do um and stay safe wear a mask yeah it's not a joke stay away from people use use, use zoom it's not gonna murder you <laughs> it's not actually gonna yeah. murder you um yeah and don't get married. Bleach your kids. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll, I don't know, abduct them on the internet something. So yeah. A demon will come eat them. Hopefully not. <laughs> don't do the seance and you're fine. Yeah. Ridiculous. Okay. Bye. Bye.